Look, I am an agnostic atheist, but I still 100% think it's a good thing to teach your kids that Santa Claus is real. And I've got two reasons for that. First, Santa Claus is an amazing gateway drug to questioning insane bullshit that adults tell you. When I was a kid and I found out that Santa Claus wasn't real anymore, I started asking all the adults around me a ton of questions. Like, is, you know, the Easter Bunny real? And they're like, no, not the Easter Bunny either. I was like, well, is the Tooth Fairy real? And they're like, no, not the Tooth Fairy either. And I was like, well, what about God? Is God real? And they're like, no, 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 no. God, God's, God's a real one. God's a real one. For me, it was this amazing lesson that I could actually follow common sense and reason and things like that and piece things together that had been deliberately hidden from me. And it was a really good early lesson that I should question authority when authority tells me that something is a certain way. Now look, that reason is kind of a pain in the ass from a parent's perspective because you're teaching your kid to question your authority. That's 100% a good thing for them to learn to do. It just doesn't make your job easier as a parent. But my second reason for telling your kids Santa Claus is real, I think might bring you back around. My second reason is that finding out that Santa Claus isn't real is an amazing way to demonstrate the power of stories. When I found out that Santa Claus wasn't real, I had a younger sister who still believed, and my parents kind of framed it like, oh, keep this kind of magic alive for her because it's really fun to believe in Santa Claus coming on Christmas Day. And then I got to be like the keeper of that story, and I got to be the, the person that was actually providing some of the magic for my little sister and my younger cousins. It's this really good real-world demonstration that stories don't have to be true for them to have an enormous impact on people's lives. And I think with Santa Claus, you've got all of it packaged into one thing. You've got one side of it, which is all about giving and kindness and charity and stuff like that. And then you've got this other creepier side where he sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he has an elf on the shelf who is surveilling you. And it's a really good way for kids to realize that these stories can be used to make them do and feel good things, and it can also be used to manipulate and control them. And that is a really, really powerful thing to learn very early on. Now, if it's not your thing, don't tell your kids about Santa Claus, but if you handle it the right way, they might come away thinking that they've got superpowers. They might realize that they have the ability to uncover secrets that have been held against them, and that stories have this immense power, and that power can be used by them, for them, or against them. Uh, and that's just a really, really good thing to know going into life.